Hi, I'm Ken from Sega, and this is Google Auto Suggest Building Science Edition. All right, let's see what you're Googling. What does an air barrier do? Stops the air that you're paying to put in your building from getting out. And it keeps all the bad, nasty outdoor air outside. So your building can be healthy and comfortable. How to choose an air barrier? Well, consider your wall type, where you live, and then call Sega. And we'll tell you to use my vest. Air barrier consultants. Me. You're looking at them. But if you're not fortunate enough to live in New England, you can also call someone that works with me. When do I test my air barrier? Early, probably before your windows go in would be ideal, or at least after the windows are in and sealed well. Do not ever test at the end of the project, because if you have an air leak, it's gonna suck to try and fix it. The pros and cons of an air barrier. Seriously, there's only pros, no cons. Uh, the pros, better indoor air quality, uh, less costly to, to, to heat and cool your home, uh, less likely for, for moisture related damage. The cons, you can't hear the outside as well? I don't know.